morning everyone welcome to Simon Tools behind me uh, Mercedes van A170 we're gonna find out something wrong today we're gonna do a big service brake rotors brake head at the rear make some noise on this side soccer sofa we're gonna do take off the dish see the dish here about one mil and a half in one out let's see if we can face it or we have to get a new one that's another concern about it have to replace the rear pad everything the rear is all right everything at the rear is good so we're gonna to the side the uh, have to full service the engine a little bit rough on running and uh, see this if we find out the CV joys here need to take it up it broken make a bit of vibration too so that one either that and the circle server here up here it gone as well so we need to get a best way to take it up and get a second hand see if they can have one and we get a second hand one first I take up the uh, these brakes first take all this one off first take up this one and take up the screw there take up the dish and then we go bring it to the place to face the dish and then the other side we have to take up the CV joy we take this one no breaking rubbers all still good so we could do the other side we have to take up the CV joy as well Number 27. Not come out. Later we have to heat it up. Get this one out first. Up. You don't need something so expensive. You can buy this one from uh, anywhere from Bunning cheap. I bought this one ten dollars and the gas bottle you can buy anyway. So I just hit them up and that's it. You can see some gas coming out. No worry about the greaser. I just hit up here. Don't go too much in the bolt in the screw because you're wicking out the uh, the edge of the, this one. No worry about the flame. I spray the uh, the greaser on. Let's make sure it heated up. It's the decrease of burn, who cares? Sheesh, burn, 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 burn. You don't need expensive tools, you still can do this one. Row, row the boat, change it out the stream. Row, row the boat. We get there. Let's see if it work. Aha! Aha! See it work. Now we can turn it up. Keep it there, and then we use for the other side as well. It's out. But the nuts go out. Put this one away. We need something like mallet to have a bang. Out. You don't get the metal one, okay? You may damage the disc. This one we're gonna save it, and uh, we're gonna face it there, and we use it again. Put on one side, now we go the other side. Side, same with the other. Oh wait, take this one out first. I have to using this one to rip hold this one because I don't have anything that flat enough to go in here. So I have to hold it out there to undo this one. Be careful with the sensor, the brake sensor. Don't pull it out too straight away. Just go slowly there and get the uh, little screwdriver. Go in the neat, picks it out. Save you $10. This one, probably about $10. So just leave it like that. On the side. Okay? You can do it. Nothing hard, mate. Nothing hard, mate. That's it. Right, without heat up, see how it's like. not even move right I got my magic baby here we go 
Row, row the boat again. Row, row the boat. Row, row the boat. I need to run out of gas. Can't afford to buy gas, man. It's expensive. Three boiler for ten dollars. I very rarely use it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Row, row, row the boat. Let's see if you come out. Oh, still not come out. Still not come out. It's harder than the others. Aha! I got you, baby. Done. Better put my tools away. Put this one away. With one hit, okay? Good luck. Beautiful. Now, now, undo this one. Take off the CV joist. We're using the old school, using the steel cap around here for the CV joint nut. Oh, beautiful man, beautiful man. Do any further action for the car? I have to look after myself. I'm so hungry. Uh, no one cooked for me. Got to order this from uh, Woolworths. Woolies. Heat it up. Very easy to eat. Eight minutes and have my lunch. This called lamb cutlets. Look really good, but I don't know how good it is. I never tried this before in my life. Never. This is first time. Real oily lamb cutlets. Look great, eh? Look really good. Let's see how good it is. Does it good as it look? Or oh, just the look better than the taste? So I will find out. I will find out. I will tell you guys, okay? I'm the honest person in the world. I got my weapon here. Super spoon. Gravy. Carrot, potato, gravy, potato, um, gravy, lamb gravy, potato, smashed potato, green beans, carrot, and a bit of lamb. All together in one heat. Go in my mouth. It got to be hot. Hmm. very good it will cover for my lunch it will last me now until six o'clock for dinner that's enough for me today well after I enjoy this meal gonna go back down there take off the CV joy take off the rear two front one there and jump on my yellow horses we bring that for face it down and then um, we do service at home with the car really enjoy this one I will have a can of beer VB but I can't later maybe tonight I go in my room close the door enjoy the beer by myself every weekend all the same always the same like that mm. damn I'm gonna try a chicken next time. So this is a lamb one. So next time we try a chicken one. And we try a beef. Let's see which one tastes bad. This one not too bad. It's good enough. Thank God. I will really enjoy with my lunch. Have a look. Oh gone! Now I've got to get back to it. I grab myself a bottle of water. No beer. No beer allowed. No beer now until I finish all the job tonight. I have to still driving, man. Good to go, baby. I can win, brother. There we go. The wheels is up. Ready to go. 
to put something underneath and we'll be alright. Drop the disc for machine. They sent me the two new sensors for the brakes as well. So one in front, one in the rear. I can't avoid from it. One of the delivery. So um, when the delivery made this one, so I have to put them on. Use the new one. It costs about $10 each. So the right oil for this car is this one. Okay. And now we're gonna put the um, pads in. Too, too small in the gap here. We can't have any tool to open, and open it. So we need something like this. So it can go into the small gap. See that? So it can go into the small gap. Something very really little tiny place. What we do is just hold this one and turn it down. Some of them got the built-in uh, handbrakes. The built-in handbrake, you need something like this too. So, okay. Take out. So, so this, this two box is very handy. You should get one of them. Now we put a new pad on. And put them on and uh, put it in. So when you buy this one, they came with the uh, new bolt, so better put it on. Now we put the wheel back on and uh, ready for another side and we come to the front we do, do the front part we do the back one first because uh, we're going to put the wheel back down just for more safety we don't want uh, we don't want all the wheels up so well, we do that one we'll do the front one so we better put this one in just for safety everyone i tell you the trick sometimes you open the wheels it's stuck like that you can't even move by hand or anything don't use your energy don't lose your energy you can sit down and kick here somewhere there and it came up straight away don't use your power man so now we got to the front continue with the front one now this car and confuse the gearbox there the big gearbox train oil and the engine oil train is here so we need to go underneath right further here and uh, let's see it's got to be number 13 or 14 I don't know Gotta be okay for number 13. So we can undo from here when we train the oil out while we're waiting to do the front uh, CV joint. Oh, you're about to drop now. Hold your finger, push the nut back, and then when it's ready, just pull out and go. See, that will stop much oil to come down in your fingers. That's it. Leave it there for training out. We go up on the top, we release the uh, fuel, fuel, oil filter Long adapter Go in there Take out the oil filter for this engine So it's out, it's right in there Right in there, okay? Don't be lazy, while you do that We place the uh, oil filter for them, it's the cartridge one Clean around here Your finger, squid to aim Roll this old one out. Roll, roll the bolt out. Throw it there. New one. We don't need the small old seal. We don't need the small one. We only need the big one. Just rip it out. Throw it out. Pick it up later. It's online. Okay. Clean all around first. So nice and clean. See that little hole there? See that little clip? Go in there, slice it and push it. That's it. In there. Now we put it back in. Go in before we forgot. So we finish this top part and then we go out there and do the CV joy. Get the brakes rotor home, brakes uh, dish home. Put the new one on and um, CV joys and done. Otherwise, you forgot all about this. First, I'm gonna put four liter in first, and then take the measurement. See how much more we need. So I forgot to ask them how many liter we use. So we got one and a half liter left. So we got another half liter there. So we got one liter right there. See, right in the mark there. And then we take the measurement. One, two, three. Wait for twenty second or ten second for the air. The oil just drop down all the way down. Uh, we keep lower down and uh, another half half of liter. So I think this one using five liters. So half a liter here. We got half a liter left. So maybe using five liters. 
5 liters. Oh my god, this one say for Mercedes Ben. For Ben. That how you want? Okay. See the target say mark A up here going down. This area is good. So the stainless steel part here is good. This is to going down here low. Going up this level will be good. Okay, wait for a few more seconds and test again and again and again. So it starts to go up, see, it's right there. Let's see. Okay, I say this one using 5 liter. So that's why they only give me one bottle of 5 liter of oil. So I better pour them all in. And then hold back nothing. All in, buddy. So hand. Okay. Done. So I don't have to worry the oil level now because so far I know it roughly four and four liters four and a half but actually it's using five liters I try to remove this bolt out so I can get the CV joint out come on baby she out huh she out huh okay we leave the tools here we use it later we push it oh yes easy coming in we don't need the other tools you can do it by hand very easily Look at that baby. So sensor came up, put on one side so you don't fuck up and you try to do something very hard. You may damage the sensor, this sensor wire here. Shot out, it's for the spray bar. Put that back here. Now we can take the whole lot of this one out later. Then uh, two balls, 21, 21. One goodbye. Right. Now I can take this one up. All the way, baby. Goodbye. Two down. Two down. Done. 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 Put the two on one side. Okay. Later, we need all these much tools to put it back. Tell me about it, mate. Okay. This one to pull out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that CV joy. <laughs> it all came out. Hooks <clears throat> number 10. And we can get your socks survey out. Check it out. And this is holding back the socks when you open all out, out all you do is just squeeze the clip and this one can be chopped and this will be safety for you later see so it's hanging there so all you have to do is one hand holding the other one and we have one hand squeezing this one and the socks will came, came out, come down sit okay so they set the noise on the socks too so we make uh, get a second hand socks for them okay now we got clear way to do this one. Do whatever you want. See how bad the CV choice is. Oh, it's saying. So that one very badly. So we may get the uh, second hand one or the reconditioning. Show you off this car. Undo this cover first. So we can enter the two. The undo this one. And then you can enter the bolt that holding this main CV bearings there. So we can pull it out. Oh my, the gearbox all the way out. Stop calling me, man. I'm very busy. I'm busy with my beautiful Mercedes here, okay? Oh, two bolts that hold in the brackets using Torque T40. Undo the two bolt one this end, and it will chop it out, okay? It's bolt out. This is punch on the chow chop. About the European car, when you fix it, you better get the right tools, okay? Because it's always using Torx and uh, Allen keys. If you got a terrible crap tools, this one strip, you'll be gone. And it's very hard to take this one off if you don't have these proper long tools. The problem for a European car is looking for the right tools, see? Or Torx. We need smart tools to do all this for one European car, mate. Trust me. It's not simple. And now, you can go and try to pull the CV joy up. In here, see the shop. 
Come loose. Oh, see, let me tell you. Oil coming out from the gearbox. It's out, baby. That's it. Got the whole CB joy come out. Look at that, baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Joy out this one. So yeah. we went and get another new one. You see the toy here? Yeah. And look at that air filter. How dirty it is here. I don't think people are changing it. Oh, because they don't know how to open it. That's how you open it. Changing filter. Very easy. Air filter in. This way in. This way out. So this way in. Slide it down. Clip. Gotta be clip in. Okay. There we go. There we go, baby. And that's it. Okay. This one clip down. Done. Second hand. Second hand. This one. And I got the brand new CB Joy put in. Brand new one. Just slide in. And brand new bolt and nuts here. So we're gonna put it there. And we're gonna slide the. Uh, we got all the this. This one very simple. See this one? Lie up the way like this, and just slide in there. And it had a little clip that holding this one. To go in here. You see that one? Turn around and push it on. Okay, I push it up there. Now it's hold up there now. So I have to do it. Just put some nut bolt here. Just hold it there, don't need to be tied out yet. We may start just in case we may take something else. So just put some turn, leave it there. And we got the news. We just bring the machine this one. Now we put this one back and ready for the other one. So it's getting dark and I put everything back together tomorrow. So that's how I replace the uh, CB Joys, the old CB Joys, second hand stock absorber for this Mercedes. Full service oil on this brake side done. I can put the wheel back on. Got a new pad, brakes on. This one only using one side sensor for the brakes. The back all done. So that's how it is. This is how I do standard service, big service. CV Joyce, socks, and uh, this brakes. And they asked me this one. I don't know where to get this one, to be honest. What this call? If anyone out there, do you know what this call? Please give me some idea. I don't know what this call, and I couldn't find it. So um, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next videos. So I about to pack up put this side on and tomorrow I go connect the other side on and I'll be ready to go so that's how I do it thanks you thank you for watching guys see you in the next videos and I uh, want to see the difference see how quiet the engine is before and now after service and I know for sure I know it's for sure it will be start better and more quiet The engine light were on, the triangle sign were on. I put them on now. No triangle, no engine light on. Oh, good. So that now should be, and the engine not as shaking as before. Before, it's shaking a lot. Now it's good. You don't hardly see the shaking now. Actually, really good. very happy see no shaking at all okay that's one long day for me now <laughs>